The majority of Americans live on islands. They're just not the usual kind of islands that you're thinking of. They're urban heat islands. What's happening is heat is literally getting trapped in this urban center. So if you can think of a dome overarching a city, all the carbon emissions, whether from the buildings, from all the people within it, or just traffic, that plus air getting trapped within the tall buildings and the narrowly placed buildings, all of that is building and building and it has nowhere to escape. A New York-based study that measured temperatures between the South Bronx and Central Park, and there was a 20 degree difference during the daytime. The difference can be as far as 22 degrees Fahrenheit, even at nighttime. So the big question will be adaptation. Do city planners really start thinking about what they need to do to make cities more livable as temperatures are rising? There's really almost three ways of doing it. One is literally planting more trees creating more urban gardens, creating green spaces. And the other then is to look at how do we either retrofit buildings, create living rooftops, paint the colors of the rooftops white. And then the third is really helping communities when there's a heat wave coming to alert those communities, but also to be able to respond, whether it's providing water, whether it's checking in on people and just taking care of people. It's a huge menu and too many places are looking for the one thing they want to order when it's really like, let's get one of everything and try it out.